have been accused of aggravating congestion in the Lagos seaport environment. The 100% compliance team in the port also alleges that this is in collusion with traffic control officials who continue to deploy the situation for financial gains. TVC News correspondent Ifunaya Eze reports. The seaports in the Lagos area are the busiest in the country because of the high volume of import and export activities. This also comes with the attendant traffic problem, which has persisted for years now. Over time, the federal government has deployed several means of resolving the bottlenecks without much success. The 100% compliance team of the National Association of Government Approved Freight Forwarders says that its efforts at ensuring compliance is being frustrated. The government of the day have been trying all their possible means to make sure that the this gridlock in Apapa is cleared, but enemies of government are also making it not to be workable. From the, our own side of view of a compliance, when they talk about compliance, compliance is everybody need to comply for the rule of the engagement. The corrupt people are prostrating us inside the port, including police including uh, customs, some of the custom officers, including uh, 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 terminal operators, shipping companies, gang cop. It's a cabal. Alleging corruption and compromises, it was revealed that truck drivers get compelled to pay huge sums before accessing the ports. If the road is free, then why are we paying 300,000 naira, 250,000 naira for all to access the port? Why, if the road is free? They will deny. They have cowboys. They use cowboys. If you want to pass the empty truck to go into the carry of your cargo, you must pay that money and go. Please, we are ready to manage this road within ourselves. So whatever that is happening in Papa, in terms of grid law, they are artificial. We are asking government, please give us a chance for us to practice what we have developed in order to decongest Papa Road. We have already developed a system where the truckers and the shipping companies will hold their, bring their, their holding base and the truckers, every truck you see on the way, have a parking lot. The 100% compliance team says it is in negotiation with other critical players to put a stop to the ongoing exploitation. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.